On paper, it could be the plotline of a new Hollywood movie. Drugs, guns, and nearly half a million dollars worth of stolen art found in a hotel room. The final scene for this real-life blockbuster? The Home 2 Suites in Lakewood. The information was that the storm art uh, was in Lakewood. Um, we had some other information about some other criminal stuff going on, and so we contacted Lakewood PD. Boulder Police Deputy so Chief Stephen Redfern and his officers investigated the heist. Well, actually, it turned out to be a guy breaking into cars outside of Fairfield Inn and Suites in Boulder. Our alleged thief, 31-year-old Brandon Camacho Levine, may not be the kind of criminal the writers in Los Angeles usually come up with. In fact, investigators don't even think he was targeting the art when he broke into a truck while the expensive pieces were being shipped across the country. We're not even sure the person really understood the value of, of what, uh, what they'd stolen. I was told initially that the, when we took the report, they estimated the value of the stolen art to be around $400,000. Camacho Levine was at the hotel in Lakewood this weekend. His arrest affidavit shows he had guns, 2,000 fentanyl pills, and that valuable art when a group of people came to the room. Turns out one of them decided they'd be the hero in this real life script, reaching out to police when they recognized the art. This person just basically said, hey, I know about this, this stolen art. I can tell you where it is. You probably want to come down here um, because there's other stuff going on too. Police showed up soon after and found everything. We were making dinner and uh, yeah, it became a little dance party. Colleen Fanning is the art advisor to the owners of the valuable paintings. She knew it was a race to find the art before it was sold or destroyed. Everybody was aware, do not touch these paintings. A happy ending to a very real crime. The art appeared to be in very good shape, and in fact, I believe it, it was essentially in the same condition it was when it was stolen. In Lakewood, I'm Mark Salinger, Nine News. As soon as the art was stolen, Colleen started reaching out to every auction house, big and small, across the country. Galleries pitched in and helped get the word out that these works were stolen and they should not be sold if they made their way to an auction floor.